Good day everyone. So I'm going to deal with a question that bothers a lot of matriculants in patterns, right? So let's say we are given negative 145 and we have negative 122 and we have negative 101, right? Let's say we're told that these are the first three terms of a quadratic pattern, right? So we already know that it's quadratic. So obviously the second difference, we don't have to verify if the second difference is the same because we are already told. Yeah, so um, let's say you are given the first three terms of the quadratic pattern and they ask you between which two terms of the quadratic number sequence will the first difference be negative 121? So they're asking you between which two terms of the quadratic number pattern will there be a difference of negative 121? So between which two terms of the quadratic number pattern will there be a difference of negative 121? So first of all, we have to find the first difference, right? So negative 122 minus negative 145, which becomes negative 122 plus 145. So then that will give us 23. And then negative 101 minus negative 122, which means negative 101 plus 122. This gives us one, uh, 21. Okay, cool. So then of course the second difference is gonna be two. This is a quadratic pattern. All right, so let me explain the question. So they say between which two terms of the quadratic number pattern will there be a difference of negative 121? What they're talking about is, for instance, let's, this is just an example, it's not the answer. Let's say this is, uh, let's say between T27 and T28, the first difference is negative 121. So this is just an example, right? They're asking uh, about this. They're saying between which two terms of the quadratic pattern will the first difference be negative 121, right? So an example, it can be between T27 and T28. So it can be between T32 and T33, right? So sometimes they will not say between which two terms. Sometimes they will say between which two consecutive terms. Consecutive just means they're following each other, right? Yeah, that's what it means. Just before I continue, if you want to be tutored, either online or physically, online it doesn't matter where you are or which country you are at, you can still be tutored. So we offer cheap online lessons and if you want to be tutored physically, we can still make an arrangement. So call or WhatsApp this number, but preferably please WhatsApp uh, this number and then we will take it from there. So what I do is that I tutor people uh, five days a week online and I give tests once a week so that I can check your improvements. So first of all, I just realized the mistake that I made. The difference is not negative. It's not two, it's negative two because it's decreasing. Okay, so there's one thing I want you to notice. If in the first difference, of course, we all agree that this is position one of the first difference. So if this position one of the first difference, notice position one of the first difference is between T1 and T2. Position two of the first difference is between T2 and T3. Meaning, for instance, position eight of the first difference will be between T8 and T9 of the original sequence. So, meaning that if we can find the position that gives us negative 121, it will also help us to find the two consecutive terms of the original pattern because what I want you to notice is that the positions are the same for the first difference and the original pattern. The other one obviously follows. That's why they say consecutive. If this is T10, this will be T11. If this is T20, this will be T21. I hope, I hope you get it. So first of all, just notice that the position in the first difference is the same as the position in the original sequence. So hence, uh, is the same as the position. So you just have to check uh, the next number. You just have to add one to get the next number, then you have two terms, which the first difference is between. So for us to figure out which position gives us negative 121, we first of all have to come up with a formula. So if the original is quadratic, obviously the first difference will be arithmetic or linear. So negative, okay, fine. Before that, let's find the formula. So the formula is Tn is equals to a plus n minus 1d. So in some schools, 
they actually, in some schools, they put the in front of the bracket. It's still the same. All right, so let's find the formula. So the formula will be Tn is equals to the first uh, pattern, which is, uh, okay, the first pattern, or rather the value, the value of the first term of the first difference. So that's going to be 23 plus n minus 1 and our common difference, which is negative 2. All right, so then we have to continue. Then this will be Tn. Let me go straight to the point. This is going to end up being minus 2n plus 25. Yep. So now that we have found the formula, we need to find out which position in the first difference gives us negative 121. So all we have to do is, since negative 121 is the value of the term, we'll just say negative 121 is equals to minus 2n plus 25. So then when we take this to the other side, it's going to be minus 121 minus 25 is equals to negative 2n. So then this will give you minus 146. So then we have minus 146 is equals to minus 2n. And of course, we have to divide both sides by negative 2. And then this will give us 73. So meaning that the position is 73. So 73 of this, uh, okay, term 73 of the first difference is 121. What does that mean? What is the significance? If the position, if T73 gives us negative 121, it means T73 is between T73 of the original sequence and T74 of the original sequence, right? So we found the two terms. So remember the numbers are the same, right? Position T73 in the first difference is the same as T73 in the original. So if it's T73 in the first difference, it means T73 is between T73 and T74 in the original pattern. So we found the answer. So the two and the two consecutive terms are 73 and 74. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and please subscribe to my channel.